Okay, looks like everybody then got the same answer, the ones I was looking at. I didn't realize you were working on a different problem or I would have gone ahead. So when we look at this, we know 16 grams of sodium hydroxide per 84 grams of water. Now we can change grams into moles and grams of water into kilograms and we get 4.76. So I think the molality ones are the most difficult because you have the addition and subtraction. Now let's go ahead and look at one that I think is a little more straightforward. You still have to think about what units do I have, what units do I want, and then find your path. Now for this one, what's the molarity? Whenever you're doing a molarity problem, you need density. And I did not provide density in this problem. So the density of that is going to be one gram per mil just like the density of water. So we know that we have 40% hydrobromic acid. That means that I have 40.0 grams of HBr for every 100 grams of solution. And that 100 grams is an exact number. So we get as many sig figs as we want here. I need molarity, so I want moles of HBr per liter of solution. I think it really helps if you write down the units you want over the right hand side and then you can figure out how do I get there. So I know how to change grams to moles. One mole of HBr has a mass of 80.10194 grams. So I've canceled my grams of HBr. Now I have moles per 100 grams, and I want moles per liter. So I use my density. 1.00 grams of solution is 1 mil of solution. And 1,000 milliliters of solution is 1 liter of solution. So when I do the math, my units all cancel, I get 4.99 moles of HBr per liter. So this is one that's a little bit easier because you don't have to do any addition and subtraction. Go ahead now and do this next one, which is completely different from this. Okay, This one you're just going to have to think your way through because in this one you're going from weight percent into mole fraction. So different units, different path. Do what? Okay, go ahead and do that one on the 